Hey guys, my name is Jared with Arizona Tortoise Tubes. Um, we, we're here in Arizona, we build um, tortoise enclosures and we sell the tubes for the enclosures. Um, every year I like to do a giveaway uh, to promote adoptions from the Arizona Game and Fish Tortoise Adoption Program. Um, we try to do those for the Sonoran Desert Tortoises. We put in for a little competition. Uh, this school entered and they were chosen. We wanted to give back to these kids. They have a tortoise here um, that doesn't have the proper burrow and we're gonna come see if we can make it um, a lot better for him. So if you wanna come check it out, we'll show you what, you, what we're working with. So he's got a super, super cool enclosure here. They've done awesome things with it. Um, they've got all the plants, they've got water for him. But as you can see back there, the burrow itself is lacking a little bit. You know, they have a board. They don't have enough dirt on top to keep it insulated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear that up, see what we're working with other, underneath. Uh, we're gonna fill that with dirt. We're gonna bring it up and see if we can make him something that uh, will keep him cool in the summer and warm all winter. So every year we do, every year on the anniversary, I like to pick somebody for the giveaway where we just do a free, free burrow. I put in, or I, I put on the Facebook page, I wanted people to enter and just kind of give me a story why they, they needed a burrow. So I, I filtered through a bunch of people and these guys kind of stood out. You know, it was a school, have a bunch of kids and all the kids love this tortoise. Um, his name is Dash and they, they just adore him. So going through all the entries, this one just made sense. You know, I, I love helping the kids, love helping the tortoise. So this is the perfect opportunity for us to do both. Uh, so we're gonna come in here and make sure that Dash is safe and he lives here with these kids and they can all enjoy him for uh, tons of years to come. Game and Fish actually, they suggest using bricks and putting boards on top, which you can see how that works. Um, it's fine for a little while, but it doesn't take long for these boards to start to rot out and to bow really bad. And you can't put enough dirt on top to insulate it to keep them cool. So that, that's exactly what's happened here. This burrow has deteriorated over time. The boards are all rotten. So we're just gonna dig it up and see what's underneath before we start adding dirt and uh, bringing in a much better burrow with the tubes. Rumor has it that at some point in time, they released a second tortoise in here into this enclosure. And some people think these tortoises need friends and they don't, they actually hate each other. Um, they live alone out in the wild. The only time they get together is when they mate. Males hate each other, they'll fight. So they know one was released in here, they never saw it again. So we have no idea where it is, if it may be underneath this, uh, this board, but we're gonna pull that up and hopefully we don't find something gruesome. I'm kind of hoping that somebody came in here and stole the tortoise and we don't find his shell under here, but we'll see what we find. So we've had, we had Hurricane Priscilla blow through here in the last couple days and dropped a ton of rain for what we're used to here in Phoenix. And actually this enclosure is uh, much drier than a lot of them that I find. Um, I know a lot of people this weekend have reached out, said their burrows have all flooded. So they're looking for us to come in and improve them. And you can see it's kind of a muddy mess in here. So actually makes for easy digging, uh, but obviously in a low spot in the corner like this, this burrow could flood a lot, uh, pretty easy. So we're gonna dig it up and make sure we bring it up to a high spot to where the water doesn't flow inside of it. All right, let's see if we can get this wet piece of wood up here. Well, it looks like there's kind of a, it was wet in here. You can see a sinkhole where the water was kind of running in. And other than that, just normal bugs. This is about 3,200 pounds of dirt or so, according to the scale. So the plan, now that we've dug up that burrow, the existing burrow, we're gonna fill in that, that low spot, try to bring it up before we even start building the new burrow. So once we get it to the level we want, then we'll place the tube and we're gonna use the rest of the dirt on top to insulate it. Make sure it stays cool for him all summer and warm in the winter, place for him to hibernate. There's 
It's a rare humid day in Phoenix. Of course, this is the day we pick to do the hard manual labor. I think I'd probably take 100 degree weather over 80 degrees and all this humidity. But we'll get it done anyway. All right, so this is about a four foot section. I think this one's right about, maybe just under four feet. But this is an 18 inch tube. We sell them in all kinds of diameters for all different sizes of tortoises. But this is perfect for a full grown Sonoran Desert tortoise. So that's what we use. So before we start throwing too much dirt, we're gonna lay this down and just kind of get an idea of where we're gonna put it. Good placement, that way we can bury it as we go. So the good part about these is they are extremely sturdy. You can put as much dirt, rocks, anything you want on top of that, and it's never gonna break. That's exactly why these, out of everything I've found to use, these are by far the best. You can put as much dirt as you want. That's gonna insulate it and keep them cool and warm in the winter. I think something like that. We have this end higher, and we're gonna use dirt to build up a big berm right here. That way, we've got the high ground. The ground's gonna be at least up here, so as we have a river coming through here, it's not going to flow in. So I think that's awesome placement. So what we're going to do next is we are going to dig a little hole and we're going to block off the back of this so he can't continue to dig and burrow deeper. We don't want them to escape. So these guys like to dig and once they get to the back of the burrow, they will dig until they get under foundations of buildings or get to where they're, it's unstable and the burrow could collapse and they could get trapped back there and you may never know it. So we block off the back and the bottom, and I'll show you how we do that with some of the pavers we brought today. Where you go to get dirt, they have a giant construction junk pile where all the companies dump all the broken stuff when they're done. And they actually have to pay to haul it away. So they are more than happy to let you take it for free. So if you ever need this stuff, make sure you go into your local rock yard and ask them before you go buying it somewhere. All right, we've got the burrow place where we want it. There should be an outline in there. So all we do is we make sure we bury these pavers in the back to block them off. So we actually have to bury it under a decent amount of dirt because they still need to burrow and throw dirt on top of themselves to stay cool. But we wanna make sure they can't go too deep and escape. So we're just gonna cut out a little notch. simple. We don't need a whole lot to block them. So remember the plan is to throw a ton of dirt on top of this. So it really doesn't matter what it looks like right now. It may look silly, but once we get the two place and start getting dirt put on top, it's going to serve the purpose that we want it to. Tortoise is never going to know that's there until he starts digging to try to escape. That's when he'll realize it's not worth it because he's going to hit that stone not be able to go any farther. Now we're just going to butt the tube up against these. That's going to be what we need to block him off. Thing we're looking for. Actually, it's cozy already. All right, so now we've got a place where we want it. We're gonna continue hauling in a lot of dirt to get this up to that, this level where it's above all the water line. And that's important to make the big berm to make sure it doesn't flood. Because it's nothing worse than coming out and finding your tortoise in a lake in the back of the burrow and having to dig him out head first. So we're gonna try to make sure that never happens. So we're at the point of the build where we're gonna throw a tarp over top to help waterproof it a little bit. This isn't completely necessary if you have enough dirt and you have um, good drainage in that area. But if you're in a place where there might be some standing water like we're in now, 
this tarp's gonna help prevent that water from seeping down into the ground around the burrow. So we're gonna go lay it and I'll show you how we do that. All right, so this is just a cheap standard tarp you can buy anywhere. I just got these at Harbor Freight. Just enough to repel some of the water. So we're just gonna get it completely unfolded. So we want it over the tube to try to prevent the water from seeping directly down next to it. We're gonna run it out a little ways just to stop it from coming into this area. And we'll just do it right up to the end of the tube there. It's a little long, so we can just fold it over, shape it as we need to. Now it looks terrible right now. When we put that massive pile of dirt on top, it's gonna to be waterproof and you'll never even know the tarp was here. All right, that's really all there is to it. It's gonna help keep the water out of there. We've only got about halfway. We're looking about halfway good. It looks to me like we're gonna be a whole way good when we're done. Looks like the dirt's gonna work out. The tube itself, just a little, it's not very appealing to the eye. It's just a plastic piece of garbage. Um, so we just add rocks to it and we make it look like a really nice desert cave. So we haul these in. These are pretty inexpensive at the rock yard. Same place we get the dirt, especially because we don't get a whole lot of them. But we'll stack them around. I'll show you the process. We'll stack them all up around there. Make it look like a cool natural cave out in the wild. Oh, it smells like dirty construction guys over here. I don't know if it's us or those girls, but <laughs> for sure. That was my first thought. Let me work on the brakes. I always like to build a little bit of a porch over the end of the tube. That way this berm, if the rain falls, it falls on the downside of this berm and runs away rather than falling on the inside of it and runs into the burrow. So and it also makes it look nice. So let's make a nice little porch and then I'll use these rocks to add around it and make it look pretty. But this piece of flagstone is longer than we need it. So we are gonna score it and cut it. And we're gonna draw a mark across there. We'll do it right about there. So all you have to do is a couple taps along this line. This is kind of a thicker piece, so it might take a few more. But as you tap it, it will break along that line. That was pretty simple, just like we wanted. This part, there's no rhyme or reason to this. This is like a game of Tetris. You just find a rock that's gonna work in that spot and just get to stacking. That's a good big flat one for the bottom. Cause we have such a big berm here, we're gonna kind of start at the bottom and work our way up. Make a nice little rock hole. This is the fun part. The hard part's hauling the dirt. This is the part where when you get done, it looks really nice. And I love seeing uh, just something, you know, it, when you see the finished product, it makes you feel really good about it. So this is definitely the fun part, kind of the exterior decorating. Really just, we'll adjust as we need to, but we're gonna bring dirt and kind of put around it to make it look like these rocks are set in place for a really long time. So really, we're just finding spots to put them, there's no special way to do it. Really, all these gaps in between these rocks, I'm just putting a little bit of dirt in there. It kind of holds them together. Really sets them in place. So I just kind of knock them into all the holes. Also helps keep the bugs out of there. So if you have little piles of dirt like that, Looks like this rock has been set in place. But the earth is kind of, it's kind of set in around it. And as it rains and stuff, it'll wash some of the dirt off the rocks. 
but this will keep the little gap sealed. I feel like maybe we should hire a, a design chick that went to some design school. She could probably make this look a hell of a lot better than I can. But us stinky guys, we do what we can. We are complete. All 3,200 and some odd pounds of dirt are on top. So when we're done with it, the last thing we do is we compact this all down. That helps waterproof it. There's no places where it's gonna seep into it. So we'll get a nice compact. And then we'll just run the broom over top of it, make it look real nice. Make it looks like, look like humans haven't been here. I said the main goal is to make it look like a natural wild habitat. As best we can anyway. So I've got a nice compact. We're just gonna run the broom over. Get rid of those footprints. What humans? No humans here. We're going on about three hours now. Um, this one was a little more difficult than normal because it had the wall around it. So we had to haul the dirt to the wall and then by hand had to haul the dirt again. So we had 3,200 pounds of dirt, we hauled twice. I mean, if I were a tortoise, I think I'd be happy with this. I think it's a pretty good upgrade from what it was when we got here. I don't think he's gonna be wet in that and he'll be safe. Hopefully keep the bugs out too now that we have so much dirt piled around there. Now all that's left to do is clean up and introduce Dash to his new home. that's a success. Sometimes it takes them a while to get used to it, but uh, clearly Dash approved from the get-go. Went straight in. It's Dash approved. Dash approved. Jared, thank you so much. Of course. Um, yeah. I mean, you saw the shape that the burrow was in, yeah. and I'm just so grateful that yeah. you were able to rebuild it for us. It was a major upgrade for Dash, and the students and staff are going to love it. I hope they love it. I hope to hear some follow-up and hear, hear how they like it. Yeah. And I appreciate you reaching out um, when we were doing the giveaway. You yeah. were the perfect candidate. I was like super happy to pick you guys. So well, we were thrilled to be chosen. Good. And um, it's just bringing the habitat back to life. It's, of course. There's so many learning opportunities. For sure. Right now. Our students are, are motivated to go in and see what Great. Josh is up to. I love it. And we love to uh, support you in the future too if you have any questions or anything with the tourists. Okay. Call anytime. Did went, he go in? He went right in. Way? Yep. Oh, that is Awesome. Thank you guys of so course. much. Of course. You're very welcome. And I will take pictures and Perfect. send them an email. Cool. Watch today. Awesome. Hope you enjoy. It's great to meet you guys. It was nice to meet you too. Thank you. Of course. You're very welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome.